All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a, another video. Um, I'm sorry this one's a little bit late this week. I was actually um, in Yosemite last week with some friends, capturing uh, firefalls, shooting some portraits, the usual. Um, I'll probably have more on that in a video coming up soon, but I wanted to jump in here today and kind of talk about some of my favorite plugins for Final Cut Pro that I use when I'm editing all of my videos. So the videos you see here on YouTube and of course uh, Instagram Reels. So let's get into it. So a little disclaimer here up front, these plugins are going to be from Motion VFX and they did actually, um, I guess you could say they're sponsoring this video. No actual money exchanged hands. Um, they did give me a credit to purchase some additional VFX uh, if I would like, but as you can see here, uh, I didn't actually purchase any new ones. Instead, um, today we're gonna be talking about the ones that I bought myself with my own money and that I've been using for the, about the last year. Some obviously I bought before others, but pretty much the ones I've been using for the last year to make all of the content that you've seen me make. So yeah. Once again, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna try and go through these pretty quick. This isn't gonna be like a detailed synopsis of what every plugin does, just more of an overview and maybe kind of what I use them for. But first up, we're gonna talk about M-Film Matte. So M-Film Matte is a good plugin if you're looking to kind of give your footage a little bit more of a vintage vibe, a little bit more of a film vibe, hence, the name. It's predominantly full of kind of film mats. So it's actually how I get this black border around uh, my screen here. So I just use one of the film mats to place it here um, on the screen. Um, it's also how I add grain to my footage, but there's also actually some quick plugins for zooming in and zooming out. So I use these constantly. They're just a quick and easy way to kind of add some dimension to your video. And it saves me a ton of time instead of having to keyframe um, my footage every time I want to zoom in or zoom out. I can just drag these on the timeline and adjust the speed as needed. Next up, we have the MKBHD pack and the MTuber 3 pack. Now I'm going to combine these two because I think they are a great kind of combo to purchase if you're looking to make YouTube videos or start out making YouTube videos. So starting off with MTuber 3, I think this is a great place to start again if you're looking just to get some quick assets for making YouTube videos. So things like shouting out your social channels, maybe you need an intro, backgrounds to show photos or videos, things like that. And the MKBHD pack is that again, but I think they're just a little bit more refined. So they're a little bit higher quality and a little bit nicer versions of everything I just kind of mentioned about MTuber 3. So again, great backdrops, great, effects and great again social call outs transitions um, everything you could kind of need to start a youtube channel you can find in those two packs next up we have m messages 2 and now i really like these specifically for one reason is that they allow me to kind of make these iPhone style bubbles pop up on screen to kind of show text messages or conversations. I don't use them all the time, but they are kind of handy to add a little bit of extra depth to my content when I need it and when it's applicable. All right, so the last two we are gonna do as a couple transition packs that I use frequently. Again, we are blowing through these pretty quick. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of them. If you'd like a more full in-depth breakdown of kind of how to use some of these assets or things like that, then uh, give me a comment or uh, down below and maybe I'll make an editing video tutorial. But moving on to our first transition pack, it is M Transition Film Roll. So this pack is really nice for getting some high quality uh, film styled transitions in your content. These kind of transitions are really popular on like short form content these days. So this is a really easy way to kind of get them. You get quite a few in the pack, but a couple of my favorites are the classic film roll change and the paint strokes. And lastly is the M Transition Light 2 pack. So this was one of the first packs I ever bought. And what it is are just some nice light leak styled transitions. And I actually use number eight quite a bit. So if you watch me over on short form, you're probably used to hearing this little bell sound and then seeing a little quick flash of light. So yeah, that is from this pack. But yeah, those are some of my favorite uh, packs that I've picked up from Motion VFX over the last year or so. And the ones that I use the most often. Let me know what you thought of any of these packs down in the comments. Are you gonna try any of them out? Pick them up for yourself. Again, if you'd like to see me go more in depth with some of these 
uh, assets, then let me know in the comments and I will look into making a editing video for you um, and maybe some kind of tips and tricks I have for using some of these different uh, either transitions or effects. But yeah, uh, that'll do it for this video. Actually, there is one more thing real quick before we roll the outro. Um, on March 1st, I'm actually holding my first ever photography course. I'm going over everything in terms of portrait photography and everything I've learned in the last year and kind of how I mastered 10 years worth of portrait photography in the last year. <sighs> Out of breath, saying too many words. I'm too excited for this workshop. In the workshop, it's gonna be virtual over Zoom. I actually have 300 spots available. Um, you can buy tickets right now over on my website. I'll have it linked down in the description below. The virtual workshop is going to be two hours long and it's again on March 1st at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. But if you're one of the first 50 people to sign up, you're actually going to get three hours with me. So you're going to get an hour with me in a smaller group before we do the event um, and workshop with everyone else. Again, so tickets are on sale right now. We're going to be going over things like, yeah, everything I've learned in portrait photography, how I plan shoots, how I edit my photos, composition, color, my story and journey into photography in general. Pretty much everything you see me do here on YouTube and over on Instagram, I'm gonna be spilling the beans on all of it and teaching you how to kind of do what I do or apply what I do and the things that I put into practice into your own work to hopefully improve your work. Uh, again, that's March 1st, tickets are on sale right now over on my website, I'll have it linked in the description below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.